Hello everyone. Recently I've been wanting to try reading a visual novel, so not only have I decided to satiate my curiosity, I have also decided to raise awareness for mental illness by playing a game about getting a bag of milk or something. I'm not exactly sure. Why do they still have the original English translation if they have an improved version? It seems pretty important to be accurate if all I'm doing is reading, right? Um, sure. The story behind what's going on right now is that I'm helping someone buy milk because she has some type of mental illness. This is the first dialogue choice. It's already giving me a very hostile option. Not three minutes into the game and it's already breaking the fourth wall. Hey man, talking is hard. I have a fixable speech impediment and you have a mental illness. Same boat, really. They won't even let me not be mean. I would love to say the nicest option here, but based off what the game has had me say so far, it's probably going to show my IP address on screen if I do. I'm not reading all that, but it's probably something along the lines of Low Tier God's famous speech. You serve zero purpose. You shake yourself now. Oh, quite the range here. I can pick between passive aggressive or just right out mean. I don't know what's happening right now. Am I explaining how to walk to her? Why am I so mean? She's just trying to walk. See, now that is the right attitude. You put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Oh, hello, ma'am. I like your other head. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck in an infinite loop. One person doesn't seem to understand English and the other doesn't understand global equal or whatever this thing is speaking. Oh, spooky. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, my bad. Can you please take me out of the shadow realm? I won't be mean again. Looks like she finally cracked the code. Now we can access the Pharaoh's tomb. I don't know if this is an anywhere but America type of thing, but over here, I have never seen a bag of milk anywhere. Whoa, look, she said it. I wonder if I could improvise a few lines for a visual novel. It's almost time to check out with my strange apparatus known as a bag of milk. But when I reached the counter, I was greeted by a large fetus who seems to be the clerk. I ask how it got this job and reply simply, I don't know who hired this man to work here, but he seems to be a little slow at checking money. Yay, a gas station. If this is based in the United States, we'll probably get stabbed or something, but I don't think it is, so we'll probably be fine. Miss, I think that's a bit too much ice cream. Wh what? Where did a bear come from? Oh, it's just a car. I wish it was a bear, that would have made this way more interesting. Now we get into the sad lore, but don't worry, when things get heavy, you can just listen to me read an excerpt from my favorite book, Jemima Puddle Duck. Oh cool, looks like I get to respond to some questions now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have no idea what this is. Ahem. Page 1. What a funny sight it is to see a brood of ducklings with a hen. Listen to the story of Jemima Puddle Duck, who was annoyed because the farmer's wife would not let her hatch her own eggs. Her sister-in-law, Miss Rebecca Puddle Duck, was perfectly willing to leave the hatchling to someone else. I have not the patience to sit on a nest for 28 days. And no more have you, Jemima. You would let them go cold, you know you would. I wish to hatch my own eggs. I will hatch them all by myself, quacked Jemima Puddle Duck. She tried to hide her eggs, but they were Jesus. She tried to hide her eggs, but they were always found and carried off. Jemima Puddle Duck became quite desperate. She was determined to make a nest right from the farm. She set off on a fine spring afternoon along the cart road that leads over the hill. She was wearing a shawl and a poke bonnet. When she reached the top of the hill, she saw a wood in the distance. She thought that it looked like a safe, quiet spot. Jemima Puddle Duck was not much in the habit of flying. She ran downhill a few yards, flapping her shawl, and then she jumped off into the air. Oh wow, this is your mom? She could be your sister. Your shorter, cultier sister. This scene seems like something you would see in R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet. And she was like, did you get the milk? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, did your new medicine work? And I was like, yeah. And I pulled out my bread. Oh, it just ends like that. I didn't even get to see what they used the milk for. Okay, that's about it for today. I just wanted to let everyone know that the reason I haven't posted in like two weeks is a mixture of school starting again and the next video I'm working on being a bit longer. So I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm still alive and well and I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye. Also, 10 likes and I'll read the entirety of Jemima Puddle Duck in one of my next videos.